What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode 70 of Cartoon Fight Club. And if you've been living under a rock, be sure to check out the MLG and YouTube Poop meme free-for-all. Not only does it contain characters like MLG Mega Man and MLG Iron Man, but it also took me like five months to fully produce. So I would highly appreciate if you check that out. Now, if you have seen that episode and you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's battle is being animated by the super talented Nyvik the Hedgehog. So if you enjoy this animation, head on over to his channel and subscribe. Speaking of tonight's fight, we have a robotic battle between Capcom's Mega Man and Marvel's Iron Man. With all this being said, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's 70th Round of Fighters. In the fictional and futuristic year of 200X, the robotics expert Dr. Thomas Light worked to create a humanoid robot. This robot would demonstrate an advanced artificial intelligence program that would allow it to make decisions based on vague commands and directions. After the disappearance of Proto Man, Dr. Light decided to create another robot. He created two robot siblings around the same time to work as a pair. These robots were called Rock and Roll. Rock was created as Dr. Light's lab assistant, and his sister Roll was designed for housekeeping. And thus, Mega Man was built. The original Mega Buster is Mega Man's main weapon. The Mega Buster is an ambidextrous arm cannon created by Dr. Light. It can fire three bullets of highly compressed solar energy. The original Mega Buster is a powerful weapon capable of puncturing steel and destroying boulders. A single uncharged solar bullet can blow a 5 foot diameter hole in a wall of solid stone. Mega Man can change solar energy to increase the power of his shots, attacking with a charged shot. A fully charged shot deals 3 times more damage than a normal shot. Mega Man has a solar energy intake above his head and a compact supercomputer brain. His body has a solar pile reactor developed by Dr. Light, an EP-ROM, and the circuit board. His body armor is constructed of a unique flexible ceramic titanium alloy that bends under severe impacts then retains its shape, rather than breaking or shattering. His legs have suspension and air pressure pumps below the feet that help in his jumps and cushion his landings, even from great heights, thanks to his magnetic joints. Thanks to Mega Man's weapon copy system, also known as the Viable Weapon System, Mega Man can replicate the special weapon of Robot Masters, conventionally after subjugating them or defeating them. Now Mega Man's weapon copy system is not limitless and he can't just flat out copy anything, but if his body has enough time and energy to duplicate the technology of the new equipment he scans, he can program the technology into his own system. A substantial amount of lava or magma can cause Mega Man to explode and die. However, small amounts such as projectiles will only harm him. Mega Man also has no programming in his body that is programmed to kill humans. He is only designed to fight robots and machines. Overall, Mega Man has many ways to use deadly technology and copy new ones to upgrade himself. However, he has no programming to harm humans and can be destroyed if his whole body is embedded with magma. Moving on from one advanced hero to another, let's discuss Iron Man. Iron Man has been on Cartoon Fight Club two times before this episode. In the previous battles, he fought against Samus Aran and Batman. If you wish to see those battles, you know where to go. And in those episodes, we discussed things like all of Iron Man's basic abilities, types of suits, and his origin story. But I don't just want to repeat the same exact information, so for this episode, we are going to take a look at some of the crazy things that Iron Man's armor has been through and that he can do. So let's just go right into the heavy hitters and talk about the Mark 20 Python armor. The Python armor, as Tony states, 
is built from smart metals that can change color and adapt to its surroundings. This armor is easily one of Tony's smartest and fastest. This suit was built for quick thinking and quick moving. It's also one of the most durable suits. In fact, the Python armor is so fast and durable, it was able to escape and survive the epicenter of a black hole. Having the solar system level durability to survive the center of a black hole is one thing, but having the strength and speed to fly out of a black hole is a completely different obstacle for someone to tackle. Yet the Python armor can do all three of those things. It has the faster than light speed thrusters to escape a black hole, it has a sturdier than solar system level durability to survive a black hole, and it has the strength to pull out of a black hole's gravity. Clearly Iron Man had some good reasons to be in the middle of a black hole. He wasn't there for fun. He was there to save lives and that's exactly what he did. He was fast enough to save his friend from near death thanks to the speed and strength of his python armor. Like a real python, Iron Man is nothing without his stealth mode. With the stealth mode activated, Iron Man was able to defeat a whole army of cosmic ninjas who were unable to see, hear, or detect any of Iron Man's attacks. And if that's not enough for you, Spider-Man's near unstoppable spider sense was not able to even sense a speck of Iron Man during his stealth mode. Now Iron Man isn't perfect, and Iron Man's greatest strength can also be argued as one of his greatest flaws as well. That being Tony Stark himself. Let's not forget that the guy controlling all of this armor is an alcoholic playboy billionaire who would much rather be partying it up than saving the world. And this attitude has more often than not costed Tony in battle. Overall, Iron Man's Python armor has the strength, speed, and durability to survive and escape a black hole. But Tony himself can get carried away due to questionable attitude. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle's going to take place on Earth with no prep time. Let the battle begin. Let's give this new armor a whirl, shall we? Ha! I do my best, sir. Be sure to be back in time for your dinner. Ta! Told you. Is testing done, sir? So. Ah. Give me a call if you want an upgrade, son. Three, two, one, go! Poor little Mega Man. Now before we discuss why Iron Man wins, I want to give a shout out to my friend and the battle animator of this episode, Nyvik the Hedgehog. So if you enjoyed this animation, head on over to his channel and subscribe. Now let's discuss Mega Man vs Iron Man. Iron Man and Mega Man really comes down to continuity rather than overall feats. 
because there are many types of Mega Man that could wipe the floor with Iron Man and vice versa. However, when pitting the original Mega Man against the Python Iron Man, there are many things that can explain why Iron Man crawls out the winner. For starters, Mega Man would have absolutely no way around Iron Man's stealth mode. This is the same stealth mode that got past a whole army of cosmic space ninjas, whose supreme technology could not even pick up a speck of Iron Man. And to really show off the stealthiness of this stealth mode, Spider-Man's supreme and nearly unstoppable Spider-Sense could not even sense Iron Man's presence when Iron Man was directly in front of Spider-Man's face. So if Spider-Man himself could not even detect Iron Man, how on earth do you expect me to believe that Mega Man's basic scanning abilities will pick up on Iron Man? Don't forget that Mega Man was programmed to detect and scan his enemy's abilities after he defeats him, not before he fights them. Speaking of Mega Man's programming, he was programmed to not only never kill humans, but also try not to harm them no matter what. Now I'm not saying that any human can beat Mega Man in a fight, but I am saying that Mega Man has absolutely zero experience in officially killing a human. Iron Man, on the other hand, kills robots for breakfast every single day of the week. Now let's compare the statistical power of each character's weaponry. Capcom specifically released that Mega Man's maximum horsepower is 1500, which for a two-legged engine makes him stronger than any other two-legged engine in the known real science of engines. And his maximum torque is 220 kilograms or 485 pounds per blast, and he can fire this at 8,500 revelations per minute. Which means that in just one minute, Mega Man can destroy 4,122,644 pounds of force in just one minute of rapid fire. That is some extreme intense firepower. The question becomes, however, can 4 million pounds of force destroy a black hole? The answer is not even close. Iron Man's Python armor had the durability to survive the epicenter of a black hole. If this was the absolute weakest type of black hole, and if Iron Man was on the outskirts of the weakest type of black hole, he would easily face thousands of times larger force than 4 million pounds. Now don't get me wrong, this battle is not some supreme curb stomp for Iron Man. He's going to have to put a good deal of effort to put Mega Man down for good but he does have the technology to eventually make that happen. And there are some fan calcs and fan power scales that theorize Mega Man to be stronger than 4 million pounds of force, but let me ask you this, who would you rather believe? Some fan theorized power scaling of Mega Man, or the actual creators of Mega Man, Capcom, releasing his statistical power for the public to see? I don't even need you to answer that question, because it should be a dead giveaway on which is more trustworthy. Now as I said, this battle really comes down to continuity. So if you want to see a rematch with Mega Man X facing the Endosim Iron Man, you know what to do. Comment down below the word rematch and if this episode gets 4,000 rematch comments, there will be a rematch. Also, don't forget to comment down your ideas for future Cartoon Fight Club episodes. They may even become a future episode of Cartoon Fight Club. And stay tuned, because the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Glad I got your attention. I was beginning to feel a little ignored.